guys so I thought I would film a quick little vlog I've been telling you guys that I wanted to film different kind of videos and I haven't really had the time to so I figured today since it's more of a quiet day right before Thanksgiving I would go ahead and film what my day is like today um, what a day has been like for me going through early contractions um, that are actually painful I'm not used to having them this bad this soon um, it didn't start with my other daughters until around 38, 39 weeks, and then I was induced at 40, 41 weeks. So it's been very difficult to be going through severe and painful contractions since 32 weeks. My body is tired. My mind is tired. Um, I uh, Some days I just feel like crying every day because it's, it's difficult to go Mommy. through this much pain without, you know... Um, progressing in labor very much. I'm thankfully 1.5 centimeters now, but I'm still not, um, I haven't met my baby girl yet, but I'm also very grateful because I am only 36 weeks, 37 weeks soon. So there's no rush for her to be coming. It's just very hard to be going through early labor signs without getting a baby at the end of it, <laughs> which I will, but you know, it's going to be a little while. So I'm about to help my daughters with the rest of the stuff. I hope you enjoy this video and I love you guys. And if you have any suggestions for videos, please leave them below and I will see if I can film them. Thanks guys. got my tea going, got my big belly out, my belly sticks out of my shirts most of the time now, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I just got me and the kids fed breakfast and um, now they're watching a TV show and I just got done a small little project. I am... I bought a table from a retail store called Savers and the cushions came pretty dirty so I went ahead and used an upholstery cleaner to um, go ahead and clean that up so I can show you guys. This is the table. It needs like a furniture marker on it but I got it cleaned pretty good except for a few spots that would not come out. jumbo corner cushions so that way they won't bump their heads. and it's real granite and so until I can fill that in and fix it I really don't want my kids hitting their heads. We also put it over here by our Christmas tree. I don't mind my daughter just hanging out <laughs> but as you can see we have a lot of flagstone in our house so gotta baby proof it. One of the hardest things about being in pajama labor is you get so out of breath and when the painful contractions start, it's like you're questioning yourself, like should you stop doing what you're doing because it could potentially put you into like serious active labor or do you keep going because your natural personality is telling you that you need to get this stuff done before baby is here. for my doctor's appointment today. I am so sorry, I'm already out of breath. 
You can tell by just the little things that I'm doing in the morning. I didn't film a lot that I do with my kids in the morning, like their morning routine, but just those small amounts of things make it really hard in the afternoons. The hardest times for me are late at night around 10 p.m. until 3 in the morning. Um, I usually get up to go pee at that time and then it kind of calms down for a little bit and then starts back up in the morning around, I want to say like 5.30 and then my kids are up by 7. And so there's like small breaks in between the contractions that I have to get everything done very quickly. And this is actually one of them, even though I'm out of breath, this is one of my breaks. So I figured I would film really quick, drink my tea. Today, 36 weeks and um, five weeks, I think, 36 weeks and five days. So, um, definitely nearing the end here <laughs> of this week. And um, at my doctor's appointment, I believe they are going to um, check me for dilation again. And yep, I just use my fingers to apply this. It's the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Um, it's been kind of a staple because it just kind of melts into your skin and gives it that like your skin but better look. The only thing that's a bummer is I'm a little bit paler um, right now than I was when I was self tanning even though <laughs> even when I was self tanning I was a little bit darker than this but uh, the nice thing is you can lighten it or darken it with powders and kind of just make it um, uh, blend into your skin just a little bit better um, color wise but besides that it is phenomenal cringing right now because I didn't wet my sponge <laughs> and other moms out there that know that you only have a certain amount of time and get it and you're probably like whatever girl live your life you live your best life yep, I'm just throwing this eyeshadow on from what I can see in the mirror of you guys, the perfection. And that's as good as it's gonna get, because at least I'm putting on makeup. You guys really didn't need to hear me saying that this morning, but that's fine. Just ignore that too. I'm just gonna ignore a lot of things this morning, okay guys? This is how my days go. Call it a day for the makeup and maybe add a little bit of 
this to my lips. It's Victoria's Secret's Bare Lip Gloss. When I first got this, I was like, yeah, that's not my shade. But I noticed if I put just a little bit, then it's not so bad. Not so bad, right? All right, guys, here's the finished look for the day. Very simple, sophisticated, <laughs> ready to take on the world. But yeah, that's about it. I added a little bit of eyeliner on the inside of my just uh, corners of my eyes just to kind of brighten them up a little bit. Put the eyebrows on and yeah, that's about it. But I really do like that CC cream because it really is just so easy and I never look like cakey or makeup-y and it just fades throughout the day like beautifully but it still lasts a very long time which mama needs that. <laughs>stuff is pretty good if you guys like um eggnog but you don't um you're not able to have like the dairy or eggs or whatever but you like the taste this stuff is so 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 good it's a lot more watered down than the normal stuff but it's definitely a good replacement if you're not like able to have lactose gluten-free no saturated fat cholesterol free no artificial flavors there's the label if you wanted to see it. 80 calories is not bad for eggnog. And then I also got some dates. I hate the way that dates taste, but they really help keep things moving. So I am going to go ahead and try these today for my afternoon snack before I put my kids to bed. Hey guys, sorry if you can hear the my toddlers in the background playing. But I have just finished working for the day. I did about an hour and a half of flat lay photography as well as photography on my mannequin. Um, tonight I will be editing and posting those live on my store. If you guys don't have Poshmark or Mercari, um, I highly recommend it. If you guys are into buying used and new clothing and helping the earth not be so cluttered with all of our clothes that we donate that we only wear twice. <laughs> Um, so go ahead and check those out. I will put my affiliate links down below if you guys want to check out our store. <sighs> but I am completely out of breath. The contractions have started again. I can feel them in my back, all the way down my tailbone, in my stomach, especially on my left side for some reason. And it shoots down to my lady bits area. And it's extremely painful, especially when I'm trying to work because a lot of it has to do with bending over and being on the floor and doing that kind of stuff. So I know I'm not gonna be able to work for very much longer, which is why I feel like I need to get it all done now while I still can. But I will tell you, just being on the floor, I, can, I feel like TMI, super TMI, but I feel like things are tearing down there when I'm on the floor. And so it's, very frustrating when you want to get things done but your body is telling you to rest but the thing is I would be listening to my body and resting if that worked like if that really helped but the thing is do you need help toddler frustration even when I am resting in bed they still are happening and the thing is unless I'm sitting in this chair or on my birthing ball or my exercise ball my pelvis and my hips feel like they're literally going to snap. I haven't been tested for the pubis dysfunction for if they're going to be separated or not, but I swear I could have it because it, I asked my doctor, it feels like my pelvis has snapped. And she's like, well, it's probably separated because the baby's really engaged down in there and ready to, you know, start dilating and get ready for birth. Sorry, you can hear my daughter's puzzle. It's animals. Um, those Melissa and Doug puzzles though, they're, they're pretty fantastic. But, um, so it's just, it's one of those things where you feel like you really can't win no matter what you do. So it's like, might as well get this stuff done. So honestly, I'm almost at 37 weeks now. If she comes, I'm not going to be like distraught about it because I know that she's going to be okay and that we can get through it. So I'm just trying to really prepare for, um, her getting here and trying to make sure that when she does get here, we can have that alone time to like rest together and I can be with my two beautiful daughters. So this is pretty much the 
day in the life of me right now currently. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys for my week 36 update and then my week 37 update for real lucky. <laughs> Bye guys.